Certain things in life are just absolutely true, which involve configuring a VS Code or NeoVim or really any sort of IDE that you use. Let me explain. So about eight months ago, it's already been eight months. Wow. I posted a video saying why I'm leaving NeoVim after four years for a VS Code. And a lot of people enjoyed that video. A lot of people didn't. That's fine. I kind of expected it. It's normal. And if you watch me on twitch.tv, you know that I use VS Code all the time. I like VS Code. I think it's a pretty good uh, IDE as is so many other people. However, a lot of people are also surprised when they watch me on twitch.tv when I pull up the old NeoVim and I have NeoVim open here and I did a grave sin. I opened NeoVim inside the VS Code terminal. It is heinous. I agree. But yeah, a lot of people are asking, you know, they're so confused. Like, wait, I thought you switched to VS Code. What's going on? Or if they see me in VS Code, they ask, you ask, wait, I thought you used NeoVim. What's going on? And so I wanted to provide some clarity here of when I use which one and why I still use both. So first of all, I use VS Code anytime I want to do a project with, you know, a side project, uh, whatever I do here on my own time. And I just, you know, I just prefer using VS Code on this machine. And this is my Ubuntu Linux machine. Uh, Arch, by the way. No, I'm kidding. I'm not a virgin. Are you sure about that? And that's typically fine. I just, you know, it was an issue of why I wanted to use VS Code because I technically got very tired of reconfiguring my NeoVim uh, over and over and over again with breaking changes. And I just didn't have the biggest or deepest understanding of Lua. And there's a whole other slew of, of reasons why I typically drop NeoVim as my main go-to just because there's a lot of dependency reading on other like dependencies. I don't know if that even made sense, but if you put something new and you need to use it, you're going to have to kind of read a documentation of that new application that you're using or whatever you want, right? So it's just a bunch of things that go that way. It's not the end of the world. I just, it just wasn't for me right now. And, and the video that I linked earlier covers all of this. But what's funny is that I made another video, Mastering Vim Motions in VS Code. And in this video, it's basically a configuration of my VS Code. So a lot of people were surprised like asking, wait, Melky, didn't you leave NeoVim to not do configurations? And then here you go, having new configuration files, of what's going on? So it's not really about the truly, you know, over and over configuration, but with VS Code, it's a one-time configuration. I had to do this once and that's it. And I never had to touch it again because the extensions are all managed for me. I don't really need to go deep into the extensions, how to use them. But still, even with all of that, right? Even with everything I just said, I still use NeoVim at work. When I work my full-time job over at Twitch, I exclusively use NeoVim. And the reason for that is because my setup there doesn't change as much as my setup when I have to do side projects or want to explore new technologies or need new LSPs, whatever the case may be, my state at work moves much slower than my state in my personal life. What do I mean by that? In my personal life, if I want to go JavaScript, I'm already fucked. Okay. I'm going to have to explore several different frameworks. I'm already going to have to check out, you know, so many different things in the world when it comes to JavaScript and React that Lord have mercy, I'm already kind of screwed. At work, I'm pretty much guaranteed to know exactly what I'm going to be working on without this pressure of, is it going to be changing? Especially with Go, Go doesn't change too much. I don't really have to worry too much about, you know, my LSP getting stale on not doing what it has to do. So at work, NeoVim is completely fine. And even outside of work, I still, if I want, just use NeoVim. And uh, outside of work, I just use VS Code. If you guys like Go in this kind of content, make sure you click subscribe button. It does help the channel a lot. A lot of effort goes into these videos and it truly is the best way to support if you enjoy. But let's get back to the video. So there's my VS Code bindings. Here are my NeoVim config bindings. Go check them out. But let's do an Excalibur of the pros and cons of when I use which one. And the real thing boils down to one thing. It doesn't matter. Okay, stop thinking that it does. I don't care if you're the biggest TJ DeVries fanboy or the biggest Primogen fanboy or you're the biggest Theo fanboy and you love VS Code and Microsoft. It doesn't matter. No matter what editor you use, you are still probably writing bad code that has no users. If you want to think that you're this super high proficient user because you have this really cool configured NeoVim IDE that does XYZ, you're able to jump, you have telescope and it's a really good IDE and it is phenomenal. That's great. Or if you want to use VS Code and think if there's anything lacking, you really aren't Okay, there's really not this big difference between these two IDEs in terms of the code you write. Are they tools that allow you to write your code in a specific way that maybe makes you more comfortable? Sure. If you prefer NeoVim, that's great. If you prefer VS Code, that's also great because again, it shouldn't matter. So for me, when I go with this attitude of like, it doesn't matter what IDE I use, that actually is a, like a pro for me. Because think about it, I'm as comfortable in VS Code as I am in, in NeoVim. I can jump between things, I can, I can do whatever I want. 
want. There's really not anything there that is hurting me in any sort of way, right? Same thing with Neovim, I should say. I have it here. I can use Telescope. Uh, it's actually binded to the same key, uh, funny enough, when I want to jump through different files or, you know, I do a grub search. So it's all, you know, it's all fine. It's all dandy. I'm not too pressed on that. And I don't know why people are. I don't know why people have this kind of idea. It's like, well, you only can use one. Which one do you use? I just use both. I'm not going to like look at my, you know, day one day and be like, oh, like oh, I can't use this anymore. I have to spend the whole day reconfiguring this IDE. I'll just be like, okay, you know, today I want to use VS Code. I'm going to go ahead and use VS Code. Or today I'm going to use uh, something else. I'm going to use something else. Like it's, it's, it's all pretty much irrelevant to me. And I wish more people had this attitude, like stop putting so much time on like what IDE you want to use and start spending more time on the actual code you write. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. What IDE do you use? Are you team VS Code or are you team uh, Neovim? Either way, I want to let you know, I don't care. Use whatever you want, write the code that you want, write something cool, write something badass, and let me know in the comment section below, what do you think? And again, if you want any of my VS Code bindings in the description, if you want my Neovim config, also in the description. But as always, you got a power.